Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, what up, welcome. Today we're gonna do a Pennywise inspired makeup tutorial. When I do my makeup tutorials, like I like to use stuff that I already have to be able to create a look or stuff that I can use throughout the year because I've gotten some special effects stuff that's not really my thing and I just haven't used it other than that one time. So maybe I'll try it this year, but with sensitive skin, I just like to use my regular makeup instead of experimenting with like glue and all that stuff. So I'm gonna do like a little like Pennywise Ho version of Pennywise from it, which I'm a very huge fan of that. The remake is really good. Anywho, let's get into it and let's not waste too much time. So I'm actually recreating a look that I did because I was just playing around. I'm not as confident with Halloween looks, so sometimes I like to do a little trial run because if I just freestyle on camera, I think I get like nervous and overwhelmed. So if you just want to like etch it out first before you commit to doing the look, please do it because it really helps. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna get into a primer this time. This is the Anastasia Eye Primer. I didn't use primer last time and because it's so dark, I feel like it just might blend a little better. This might be a mistake, I don't know, but I feel like it'll blend better. I'm not really used to this primer, but we'll see how it goes. And also just because it'll brighten it up a little bit, I guess, I don't know. I haven't done anything on my face yet, just in case I make a little fallout, then I can just blend it away and retouch my concealer if I need to. I'm honestly the worst with Halloween. Last year, I just kind of like gave up around Halloween. I didn't really do looks, but this year I'm just like, you know what, let's do it. Oops, got my brow. I think I put a little much on, but that's all right. So like those little dots on the bottom, like that's fine. I can just use my concealer after. This is also another way, like if you have a smoky eye or something like, you know, more of a grungy eye that you're comfortable doing, you can do that and then just do the lines on your face like Pennywise and you're like already like, people will know what you are, you know? Also, if you can hear some noise in the background, hopefully not. I swear, there's a business next door to my studio and they freaking party, which I'm not a hater of at all. I just hope you guys can't hear it. I'm gonna pull a little music so you can't. So. so I'm gonna get into the new 3503 palette by Morphe. This is what I used when I did this little look. I still will just jump right in. I'm gonna go into this shade here. I love that they're not labeled so you can just like not mess up the names. Anywho, and this is a Morphe M521 brush and I'm just gonna start layering it on quite aggressive. Oh, this pop primer is actually nice. I just got it. And I'm pulling it out towards my hairline, give a little freaky leak look. This is basically just like my transition. This isn't really, I'm gonna go over top of this is what I'm trying to say basically. I like to just do it a little, a little bit in here too gives it a bit more of an angry look, you know? but still cute. And with these neutral colors, you don't have to be too careful either. We're basically just trying to sculpt in there. Do a little flicky flick up here. And you can bring it down your nose a little, why not? Next up, I'm gonna get into this guy right here, this dark brown. Did I do that one? I don't even remember. Anyways, whatever, it'll look the same. And this one I'm gonna pull a little bit tighter as our second transition shade. I'm pulling it out just a little bit lower than the first one. Then I'm gonna go in with this black and kind of put in my shape. I'm always like a little bit timid with black. That's why I do so many uh, transitions. Whenever I do a black shade, just cause I don't wanna look like I got punched in the eye. And I'm gonna angle it out and let it blend into those other colors we did. And I'm just kind of connecting onto my lid and just wing it, winging it out. And if you're less comfortable with black, do a deep brown and then touch it up with black if you want to. I usually do black, let it be a little messy and then just go over and buff over with like a, like a pretty dark brown. So even like this, if you're not even like blending champ or whatever, you can leave it blotchy like this and then go in with a pretty dark brown and a blending brush and just blend over top of it. Then it looks like, wow, I'm like blending skills are fire, but even though it's chunky, you're just kind of wiggling it back and forth and then it'll go smooth. And then if that doesn't work, just be like, it's Halloween, like hello, it's supposed to be grunge. Get off my, whatever's good enough. Then you can take whatever's left over on your blender or, you know, get some more and just, I'm just gonna clean it up underneath a little bit. I'm gonna take a tiny little, little bit of my concealer, Huda Beauty Overachiever in Caramel Corn is my fave right now. And a brush that you can clean it up with. Just something that you can get nice and flat. I'm gonna just do a line under here. I'm also gonna take it and do it almost like I'm extending the inner corners of my eyes here. This works best if you have a concealer that's obviously lighter than your skin. I'm gonna take an itty bitty brush. This is the Morphe M326. 
I'm gonna go in with the dark brown we used before again here. And I always do the inner part because it's a little less intimidating, but I'm just gonna call it like little wrinkles under there. Be gentle and go back and forth so that you can get in between the lines. That's what I have to do. And I'm actually gonna sharpen it a little bit on the top part too, to kind of uh, bring out that inner concealer we did a second ago. Little bit of a fluffier brush. I'm just gonna blend it out so it's not so tight. Might even just touch it with the black a little tiny bit so it's more bold. Cool, I guess, hopefully. I gotta do this shit on the other eye, so wish me luck. Next, now this might seem like it's in weird order, but it's what I did. I'm gonna do the red lines, and then I'm gonna bronze and highlight, and then I'm gonna touch up the red lines. That way you can make them like a little squiggly, and then just clean them up a little bit afterwards. So, for the lines, I actually used a eyebrow brush, and this kind of neon magenta red. And I'm just gonna start with the outer parts of my mouth. And I'm just kind of following my lip line and extending it a bit. I keep doing it in small-ish sections so that I kind of make it even. And then I'm gonna do the ones underneath my eye. And I did them a little bit angled outward so it's not like directly underneath my eye. I think it just like goes with the angle shape we did. And then try and forward up, bloop. And I like doing these a little softer just so it doesn't take over my whole face, you know what I mean? And for these, you just have to have hope and prayers that uh, you can connect it and We did. Might bring it in just a little more. And by bring it in, I mean I'm just gonna draw on the inside line on one side just so it's a nice curve. And it's okay if these ones are a little bit more squiggly because like I said, we are going to touch it up after we do the bronzer and everything. Okay, anyways, let's do a little bronze, but not too much bronze. I'm gonna take my mini Caramel Cutie Fenty Bronzer, and instead of kind of warming up my whole face, I'm gonna like really smush it into the holes of my cheek, just so I can get a contour, and keeping it tight. Usually when I do wear bronzer, I kind of swipe it all over the place, but I want it to be like dark and have more of like a hollow cheek look. And like I said, it's gonna take off a little bit of your lines, but it's just for guideline. For highlight, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Lit Flex Highlighter. Okay, next I'm gonna take the Hank and Henry Beauty Clout Mascara. It's like a double-ended one that I very much like. I'm gonna do just a touch of this in the inner part right here, so it's a little brighter. And on the outer corner too, in those gaps. For lashes, I'm going to do the Dragon Lee Lashes by Nippon Sun. They're very extra. I think my coupon code for that's like 30% off or something awesome like that. I don't know. But it's all linked below. Actually, Henry is the one who put me on to these lashes too, so. Anyways, I'm gonna use the same mascara on the bottom. This mascara lasts for a very long time too. Okay, let's get back to trying to salvage these red lines. I think I might do a little like switch up on the brush. I'm gonna use a little tiny one like this. Oh, and that was another thing I forgot to do. If you want to make the lines sharp, you could carve them out with concealer like you would your brows, but I forgot to do that. So they're, uh, they are how they are. And that's why I like to do it before you do your contour and highlight and all that so that you don't have like concealer marks around it, but we didn't do that today, so here we are. For the nose, I kept it kind of simple, so I was like, we're already doing a lot, so I'm just doing a circle or a half circle. Let's do some lippies. So I used PMS from Fenty Beauty and the Matte Moselle. It's cool because it's thin enough to kind of use like a liner. You can use a liner for this if you want, but just to get a nice little ombre going on. And I'm just kind of following the line we did a little earlier with the shadow. And whenever I'm doing ombres like this, I just keep rubbing my lips together and hope for the best. Then I'm gonna take Dragon Mommy, which is a little brighter. Kind of like our red that we did, and blend it in the center. But with this, you gotta kind of wipe it off. Now, with our little brush, I'm just gonna shape out the outer part using the lipstick that's already there, just pulling it out. And it's okay if it's slightly like a little blurred because it's powder. Anywho, I'm gonna go in with this dark, dark shade here to kind of go over top and to make our line a little bit more, a little bit more depth. Alrighty, so we got our female 
uh, or just glam Pennywise on and pop in with, you know, regular makeup stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wasn't even gonna do Halloween looks this year, but because I think I make it too hard by thinking I need special effects and all that stuff, but I got makeup and we could do cute stuff with it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, follow, love yourself, stay pretty, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. P.S. Tell me, tell me what other, uh, Halloween looks you want to see. Let me know. Take care.